Hello. Wait. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. That's good to hear. What did you do today, Vivu? I play today. You what? I play today. You play today? What did you play? I play, I run with you. Oh, so you're, you play running with your brother? Okay, and how about dinner? What did you um eat for dinner tonight? Eat. Um, I eat fish. Oh, that's good. Fish and fish and rice. And rice. Okay, that's wonderful. And how was the weather today? It's, it's nice. It's nice. It's sunny. Yes, it's sunny. Oh, okay, I see. So that's why you're running outside. <laughs> you were, you had so much fun since it's sunny. <laughs> okay, are you ready now, Vivu, for our lesson? I'm ready now. Okay. Let me just share my screen. All right. Oops. <laughs> All right, so um, last uh, day, I uh, know. <laughs> Thursday, rather, sorry. Last Thursday, I, okay, we learn about, let me zoom in. So we learn about the adjectives and with ed and ing. Can you still remember this one? Yes, I still remember this one. All right, so again, this is just a review that adjectives that end in ed tell about how we feel okay it tells about how we feel and okay. adjectives that end in ing usually tell about a thing such as a game or a movie just like this example the people are excited okay. the game is excited Okay, so again, ED, adjectives that ends with ED tells about how we feel. Are we um, excited? Okay, surprised? Okay, it's how we feel. And did I give you a homework or no? No. No. <laughs> All right, so... We will now continue. Let's practice. Okay, let's see if if you understood all about adjectives. Now, I want you to listen. And then after, I want you, then you can circle the words that you hear. Okay? Okay. All right, here. Page 14. Listening. A. Listen. Circle the words you hear. 1. Here we are in Cairo, Egypt, to show you how joyful and fun an Egyptian wedding can be. The happy couple is with me now. Their names are Ali and Nadia. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You just finished the wedding ceremony, is that right? Yes, that's right. Now we're going to the hotel to celebrate. Two. At the hotel, Ali and Nadia walk in with their family and friends. 
Suddenly, a group of drummers begins playing and singing on each side of the couple. This is called a zephyr. Ali and Nadia begin to dance. Their good friends dance in a circle around them. The dancing can last up to an hour. Three. After the zephyr, we all go to the dinner. It looks delicious, and of course, everyone is very hungry. I see kebabs, grilled chicken, fish and rice. And there is the beautiful wedding cake, which Ali and Nadia cut for dessert. After dinner, there is even more dancing. Ali and Nadia, thank you for inviting me to your wedding. It was exciting. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. All right, so there you go. Okay, I can see that um, you boxed the words that you hear. So let us try to check. Okay. Mm, we still have wedding at number one. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's okay. So we hear the word Egypt and wedding because there's a wedding in that one and that's in Egypt. Number two, you boxed singing and ever. Oh, we, oh, we still have celebrate in number one. <laughs> okay. Three. How about number two? Is, is this your final out. answer? This is my uh, final answer. Mm, we, have, we have drummers. The drummers. And then, yes, singing. That's correct. And our. Okay, very good. Next, we have number three. Okay, chicken. chicken. Also exciting. Okay. All right, so there you go. Thank you so much for answering. Okay, so that's it we have. YouTube, wedding, celebrate, drummers, singing, hour, chicken, cake, and exciting. All right, so thank you so much, Vivu. Very good. Okay, now it's the same thing. Okay, here is listen again then circle the correct answer so look at the question number one where is the wedding so the answer is in egypt number two question who makes music at the hotel and number three question what will they cut for dessert Okay, so I want you to listen again. Page 14. B. Listen again. Circle the correct answer. One. Here we are in Cairo, Egypt, to show you how joyful and fun an Egyptian wedding can be. A happy couple is with me now. Their names are Ali and Nadia. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You just finished the wedding ceremony, is that right? Yes, that's right. Now we're going to the hotel to celebrate. Two. At the hotel, Ali and Nadia walk in with their family and friends. Suddenly, a group of drummers begins playing and singing on each side of the couple. This is called a zephyr. Ali and Nadia begin to dance. Their good friends dance in a circle around them. The dancing can last up to an hour. Three. Okay. After the zephyr, we all go to the dinner. It looks delicious. And of course, everyone is very hungry. I see kebabs, grilled chicken, fish and rice. And there is the beautiful wedding cake, which Ali and Nadia cut for dessert. After dinner, there is even more dancing. Ali and Nadia, thank you for inviting me to your wedding. It was exciting. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. Okay, so where is the wedding? That's in Egypt. Number two question, can you please read? So you answer drummers. Okay, very good. 
That's correct. Drummer. So they make music at the hotel. And number three, please read. What is the dessert? Cake, cake. That's correct. All right. So thank you so much. Very good review. All right. So again, let us go back to the question. Oops. To the question here. Okay. So we have it here. What's this? <laughs> We have it here. As you can see, this is a wedding. Okay, now let me ask you one more time, Weebu. What are weddings like in your country? What does it look like? They have a dancing and eating. Dancing and eating? Yes. What else? How about their clothes? The... Yes. The bright, the bright clothes is white. White? Okay. How about this one? Let me ask you this. Have you seen this kind of wedding? Yeah. The, the bride is wearing something like this? Yeah. Not wearing white? The bride are, are red. Oh, so, you, so you've seen a wedding like this? This one? <laughs> Or like, like this. This is, um, as you can see here, this is the, I think this is traditional Vietnamese wedding. Okay, this is what, yeah, this is traditional. It means that this before okay so they wear this kind of dress during the wedding okay so that's traditional that was before look here okay, it's traditional vietnamese wedding and we also have it here okay like this is the most common like the bride wearing white gown and the groom is wearing a suit okay so this is like the common or the modern wedding while in vietnam before the wedding looks like this okay so they wear this kind of clothing during their wedding is it clear? clear? Yes. Okay, so again, this is a traditional Vietnamese wedding. Have you seen something like this? This kind of wedding? That's cool. <laughs> All right, so that's it. So in here, as you can see, this is it's a muslim wedding okay so since um we're talking about wedding i want you to listen to this one first page 14 speaking c talk about the pictures of weddings what is the same what is different find four differences at this wedding everyone is inside Yes, the colors of the dresses are different. The man in that picture is wearing a flower. That group has more women. All right, so look at this one. Okay, let me zoom in first so that you can see well. Okay, I want you to look at the picture and talk about the, we the pictures of weddings. And I want you to tell me what is the same and what is different. 
again, find four differences. So you have a clue here. In this wedding, everyone is inside. Okay. And the colors. Uh, oh, sorry, I cannot hear you. The colors are colorful. Okay, the colors of the dresses are different. Okay, so they are wearing different colors of dresses. Okay, and what else can you say in this picture? Can you see boys in the picture? Okay. How about in here? I see a boy. Yes, and what can you say about the second wedding? Yes. Hello. And have girls. Okay, so again, Trivu, what can you say about the second um picture of wedding? Okay, there are children, that's correct. What else? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so in here, Rivu, as you can see, okay, they are wearing like formal dresses. Okay, as you can see, they are families the family of the bride, the family of the groom. Okay, so as you can see, there are ma men and women and children. Okay, and the bride is wearing a white gown. Okay, and they look so formal. While in here, as you can see, most of the people here in this wedding are, are female or women. Okay. It's, it's a wedding full of women, and as you can see, their, uh, their dresses, they are different compared to the wedding. Can you see? It's quite different, and they're also wearing this one. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so, and it looks like they're really enjoying the party. Okay, and as you can see, <laughs> that we do. <laughs> okay, we too will have our class tomorrow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, and, and they are all having fun, okay, and they're having a party, as you can see, they're dancing, while in here, they're very formal, and they are taking picture in this one, so that's the differences, so as you can see, Vivu, okay, let me tell you that, not all weddings are the same. Okay? It depends in your culture, tradition, and religion. Okay? Okay. So, as, so uh, maybe the wedding in your country is different to our wedding here in the Philippines and that's okay. We remember that we are not living in the same place. We are not living in the same country. That is why 
you, we can really see the differences in each article. Hey, is it clear? Do you have question? Do you have question? No, okay. All right, now let's go to the next. Um, vocab, I mean grammar. Now here, word families, we have nouns and verbs. Okay, before we go through with that, let me ask you again, what is a noun? Now, in English? Yeah, noun. Yeah, what is a noun? Okay, when I say noun, it's a name of a person, place, or thing. Okay. That just like we book. Your it's a noun. Okay, that's a person. Vietnam. It's a noun because it's a place, it's a country. Okay. Bag. It's a noun. It's a thing. Okay. If you can see words like this, it's a noun. Okay, but when we say it, verb, what is a verb? Action. Okay, very good. It's an action word. Okay, very good. It's an action word, just like run. Walk, what else? Hmm? What's that? Yeah. Fly. Fly? Yeah. I'm sorry, climb. Okay, climb. Yes, that's correct. What else? Eat. Yeah. Okay, so very good. And drink. Okay, very good. Right, so these are verb, okay, action word, verb, and of course, a noun. Again, we say noun, it's a name of a person, place, or thing. Okay, so here, let us study this one. Okay, here. Some words can be both nouns and verbs, and they have the same spelling. Okay, just like this one, just like the example. Look, the pony ride is a fun activity at fairs. Children love to ride ponies. All right, so in this sentence, um, we will we have the ride as a noun okay the pony ride is a fun activity at fairs and we also have love to ride ponies okay to ride okay so if you can see this one this is the b verb okay we call this one as the b verb Okay, it means two plus the verb. Okay, to write, to dance, to eat. Okay, that's a be verb. Okay. So there's always two in it. Okay. All right, so let me show you about um some words that some words that can um both noun verb. okay wait please Okay, so we have it here. Now, a word that names things, people, and places. Okay, 
That's now. Now's your words that make things meaningful and, of course, places. While verbs are um, words that name action. And some nouns in English can also be verbs. Again, remember, we will, it's just some, okay? Not all, just some. Some nouns in English can also be verbs. Okay. But not all of them. Okay. Just like this one. Let me just show it to you. Uh -huh. Okay, I cannot see clearly. All right, so look this one. All right, so here. I want you to listen, read the words, look them up in the dictionary, then try to use the words as nouns and verbs in sentences. Okay, remember this is a this is an example, okay? This is an example sometimes. So listen very carefully for this because this will be your work, okay? So I will let you listen and then after you will read the word and then your homework is you will look them up in the dictionary. Then try to use the words as nouns and verbs in sentences. Okay, again, write two sentences for each one. Okay, now here I want you to listen. Page 15 Word study. B. Listen and read the words. Look them up in the dictionary. Then try to use the words as nouns and verbs in sentences. Write two sentences for each word. Laugh. Answer. Paint. End. Show. Place. Okay, so as you can see, can you please write this words, these words? Laugh, answer, paint, and 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 show and please. Okay. Laugh, answer, paint, and show and please. Okay, can you please write? Because this will be your homework. Okay, okay write this in your notebook or any paper that you have there. Okay. going to do look them up in the dictionary you will look up the meaning of these words in the dictionary and then you will use this word in a sentence okay again words as nouns and verbs in sentences okay can you please write also this one Please write this one, we will um, use. Uh, oh. Wait. This one, use this one. 
Okay. Yeah, you write that one so that you can remember the story. I mean the story, the words. Your homework. That will be your homework, okay? Okay, so finish? Yes, All right, so don't forget to do this one, okay? And I will check it on Thursday. Okay. okay, thank you so much for your time, Vivo. See you again on Thursday. Have a good night. Bye.